So guys, make sure to stand till the end because if you make one common mistake, you may end up spending thousands of dollars on parts, diagnostics that you may need. Make sure to stand till the end, we will explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Dodge Challenger that generation here from year 2014 to year 2024. If you guys have a problem where the AC uh, air conditioner blows hot warm air, you want to see what, fix, uh, what causes that, how to fix it guys. It could be simple fix, we will talk about that. It could be even something not related to the AC system, we will explain what it is. Where you can buy cheap parts and tools that way do not waste money and time. Why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. All that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, please make sure to stay until the end. So before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix transmissions, engines, bodywork, electrical components, fuses, relays. Why we do all that guys? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. We have guys more than 15,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can practically guys save you thousands of dollars in future repairs and if you need to buy parts tools at a good price quick shipping we'll put the links in the description of the video below for your convenience so guys if the ac air conditioner blows hot warm air what can cause that multiple things but first what you want to check is your climate control air conditioner fuses we'll explain where they're located if they're fine we'll explain what else can cause it because it could be just simple fix such as a bad fuse quick reminder there is more than uh, there are more than one fuse boxes in that dot challenger most people do not know where they're located we we'll recommend to check out the video on our youtube channel about fuse box location on dot challenger first guys what you need to do open the hood and when you open the hood here guys uh, okay on the passenger side facing the engine you see that on the left side you have a fuse box press these two tabs open the cover and you will find underneath a fuse box with a layout like this one before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay you, let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below so here guys in this fuse box we need to check two fuses one relay then we need to go to a different fuse box check three more fuses and one more relay make sure to stay until the end we wanted to share one good advice with you that way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us the first fuse that you need to check guys if you come in that row of fuses here let's zoom in a little bit so we can clearly see these things okay we're talking about that's fuse number 9 10 11 12 fuse number 12 that one here will need to be checked uh, you will need to check fuse number 39 we're talking about that last fuse right here in that row you need to check relay guys 43 which will be this one right here that's relay 43 very important relay then open the trunk on your dot challenger in the trunk leave the carpet liner on the bottom underneath you have the spare tire the car battery and behind the car battery you have a fuse box that's a closer look here press this tab open that cover and you have a fuse box with that layout here specifically here guys we need to check fuse number 15 right there and then you see that 25 amp fuse next to it you have a 15 amp fuse that's barely visible right there check that fuse as well that's uh, fuse number 32 and we need to check fuse number 53 the one right here that 10 amp fuse right there guys now you need to always also check relay 71 other things that can cause the ac not to work guys okay multiple things multiple things but first 
it could be a bad AC clutch guys. That's the AC clutch right here. If you want to see how to test AC clutch, how to replace AC clutch, we have videos on the channel guys that will teach you how to do that. It could be bad AC compressor or sometimes on the compressor, okay, on the newer models you have that uh, AC compressor valve. And if that goes bad, the compressor doesn't work. That valve is replaceable, it's not expensive, and it's way better than buying a new compressor. So it could be bad AC compressor valve. But guys, plug in, okay, the recharging kit, depending on which year you have, you might need to use R1234 YF. We have a special video if you can use R134A instead of R123YF because it's cheaper. Check it out, it will teach you how you can do that or if it's possible to do it, but uh, connect your recharging kit and see guys, okay, and uh, see, okay, how much pressure you have. If you have pressure in the system, you don't have a leak, so that's good. But if you have a, uh, if you don't have pressure in the system, guys, okay, that can be caused by leaking, com uh, leaking components, such as compressor, condenser, hose, multiple things. Now, if you have pressure but it still doesn't work, you checked fuses, tested the clutch, compressor, AC, compressor valve, test your AC pressure switch. This is a device on the high pressure AC line that detects if you have enough pressure to tell the engine computer practically that it's safe to turn the AC on. So bad AC pressure, uh, pressure sensor can cause that as well, or also known as AC pressure switch. Now, other things guys. You need to check your serpentine belt. Make sure that the belt didn't come off. The belt is not loose. The serpentine belt tensioner is okay because if the belt is not turning the air conditioner, it's not going to work as well. Another thing, if your radiator fan is bad, radiator fan doesn't work. You have a bad fuse for radiator fan, guys, or a relay for radiator fan that doesn't work. The engine computer will most likely deactivate the air conditioner. That way the car will have a lower chance to overheat. So bad radiator fan can cause that as well. But in some cases, your AC may be working perfectly fine, but it still blows hot air. It doesn't blow cold air. What can cause that now, guys? Okay. You see that device here, you most likely have two of them because of dual climate control we have two, single climate control we have one of those, but that thing it's known as a blend door actuator. It attaches to a flap and regulates the temperature behind the dash, turns from hot to cold. Inside you have plastic gears that usually crack, wear out, start skipping or the motor quit working, maybe stuck in the wrong position. Let's say it's stuck in hot. That's why your air conditioner doesn't work and blows hot air when everything else works perfectly fine but you still get hot air from the heater instead of the air conditioner because of a bad blend door actuator. If you want to see guys the symptoms of bad blend door actuator and how to test blend door actuator we have multiple videos on the channels that will guys teach you how to do that step by step. So guys, this Dot Challenger has all kinds of different fuses and uh, relays. Those could be really hard to find if you're in the middle of nowhere. We'll guys put a link in the description of the video below where you can get some spare ones, put in the glove box because one time we needed a spare, we couldn't find one and we were stuck in the middle of nowhere because of that guys. Uh, hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.